soon as we see him hand the ball, everybody's watching the ball, and then we attack. All right, let's go. Ten months ago, the Missouri fan base was less than thrilled with the hiring of Frank Haith. In seven seasons at Miami, his teams only got to the big dance once. His record in the ACC was below 500. We will win here. We will win big. He said they'd win at his first press conference, but few believed it, which is why after the press conference was over, I asked athletic director Mike Alden this question. If Frank doesn't happen to work out, do you fear for your position? Well, I never approach anything like that. I mean, that's certainly, I, I don't ever choose to approach anything from a negative st standpoint. It was a valid question then. It would be an extremely dumb one now. Haith's Tigers are 23-2. and two. They're in first place in the Big 12. They beat Kansas, and they'll be ranked number three in the nation when the new polls come out tomorrow. Haith is now the front runner to be the national coach of the year. What a difference 10 months can make. I asked him Thursday if he listens to all the love he's been getting. No, and I, I mean that sincerely, I, as well as I didn't listen to what people say I shouldn't be here. So, Coach Haif and, and what he did with getting us to play together is the, the, the number one reason. He took us from a selfish bunch to a selfless team. So how did he do it? How does a guy with a less than impressive resume as a head coach turn around a team and do it this fast? and he did it by stressing good communication. A huge deal with us in terms of uh, helping each other off the court or you know, uh, congratulating a teammate or uh, telling a teammate good pass, that, that kind of communication. He's gonna tell you when you're doing something right, and he's gonna be the first person to tell you when you're doing something wrong. I'm the, uh, his eyes on the court, and I've uh, listened to what he's had to say, and I try to uh, reflect it on the court and just try to play how he wants me to play. It sounds a little corny and a little cliche because we hear it from coaches all the time, but Haith's Tigers have actually bought in to what he's selling. It's been a tremendous run, and I, I've talked to our team about this. I want them to enjoy this ride. We're all enjoying it. It's, it's a great run, but the uh, big picture is we got a lot, still got a lot of work to do. You've heard me say it before, proud peacock today, feather dust of tomorrow. As the Tigers get ready to leave for the SEC, there's plenty of room in the Raptors at Mizzou Arena for their first Big 12 title banner to go right alongside the ones from the Big 6 and the Big 8. I'm already impressed. Let's go play a game.